Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about three newly released DAX functions, which will be very useful in visual level calculations. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Here in this visual, I have total sales by manufacturers. And first of all, let me introduce you the first new DAX function, index, and we will see what it does. So, I am creating a new DAX measure based on my total sales measure. And look at this function's definition. Definition of the new index function says, it retrieves a single row at absolute position specified in its position parameter. It means it will assign index to the items mentioned in its relation arguments, and then will retrieve the mentioned row. For example, I can calculate the total sales for manufacturer, which is at the second position in my visual. As that you can see, it is calculating total sales for Adventure Works, which is at the second place, and returning the same value for each row. I am changing the parameter to minus 3, and it will now calculate the total sales at third position from the bottom, for each row. Position order can be changed by using an order by function. Before I introduce you the amazing window function, let me show you what offset function does. This function is now officially announced with December 2022 release. Many of you would be familiar with this function because it is there in the news since last month itself. This function also retrieves a single row from the relation by moving the number of rows specified in position parameter. You can also mention the sort order using order by function. As that you can see, I have mentioned minus one it means. It will show you the previous row values at each place. Calculating previous row was not straightforward because we did not have such functions which works on visual level. As said, you can change the order and then it will count the position based on the order. These functions are very useful for visual level calculations. As said, you can change its position parameter let's say minus 3 and then it will calculate the total sales by moving 3 rows up or down based on mentioned sort order. Both these functions retrieve a single row, but our next new function will retrieve a range of rows mentioned and that function is called window. Again, I will calculate total sales, and let me show you what this function does. I have written calculate total sales, and now we'll enter this new function name. It says that it will retrieve a range of row mentioned in the specified partition. Let me start with an easy example same as previous functions. And then I will show you the relevance of its other arguments. Range I am going to mention is from minus one to zero. It means it will give me current row value and its previous row value. Again, these sort orders can be controlled by using order by function, same as we did before. As that you can see, it is calculating the combined total sales for current row and the previous row at each position. And if I change this parameter to minus two, it will calculate the combined total sales for current row and two previous rows. You can also use a slicer and selected value function so that users will get the flexibility to select any range from the slicer. By default, every current position is treated as position zero and ranges will be created accordingly. But if you will forcibly mention the type as absolute, it will return the same combined total sales at each place. For example, I will change this range and use absolute one to absolute two position. It means it will calculate combined total sales for position one and two and will return the same value for each position it will not dynamically change. As that you can see, it is showing the combined total sales for Adventure Works and Datum Corporation at each row of my visual table. If I change this to three, it will now calculate the total sales for first three rows and return the same value at each place in this visual. It basically calculates the sales for that range and then it removes filters from the relation table. Now I am going to show you the use of partition by function in this. For that I will add another column name, for example, color column. Let's now understand its other argument, which is called partition by. For that, I have also included product color column in my relation table. At this time, it is not calculating the required total sales as expected, and this can be controlled by using a partition by function, and it will work only for the column name mentioned inside its partition by argument. As that you can see, it is now calculating the sales for that ranges for each color individually and showing the total sales for the current and the previous row inside each color. You may be seeing this red underline, which you can ignore at this moment because this function is just introduced. 
it may show these lines. But the important thing here is, you can only mention the columns here which are available in the relation arguments. Now I use manufacturers and partition by argument and I am able to see the same calculations for each manufacturer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI. Post your questions, feedback and suggestions in comment box.